put together this video to show what I've been doing during these last few months. In December I started taking some free diving lessons and decided to video my progress. This video shows me already a couple months into my lessons when I was tested to see how long I could hold my breath without moving I was able to hold it for a little over two minutes. Starting from head to toe the equipment I'm using is a face mask, a snorkel, which is to be used above water, not under, a shorty wetsuit for the pool, a weight belt because a wetsuit makes you float, neoprene socks, and free diving fins. In this part, I'm traveling 25 yards underwater. It seemed like forever. Next, I had to work on going back and forth underwater for a total of 50 yards. I had to do this gradually. I eventually was able to do the 50 yards and even before this I passed the basic free diving course. Now I had to wait for the lake to get warmer to finish the course. In the meantime I took some additional courses and practiced at the pool. The weather got warmer and it was time to go to the lake. Our instructor Ron took us to a cove in his boat. This was my first time in open waters. The air temperature was 80, but the water was 58. This called for a thicker wetsuit. This is a 5 mil 2 piece wetsuit. Every part of my body was warm, but my hands and face. This was the first time I dove 31 feet. It wasn't pretty, but I was proud I could go that deep. When you get to the surface, you have to replace the oxygen you used up by taking a big breath and hold it for 3 seconds. Then release half of that and take another breath then repeat, and then release it after 3 seconds and repeat it one more time. Yeah. 
one of our requirements to get certified is we have to go down at least 30 feet, remove our mask, and swim back to the surface. I have to admit, I was a little scared in the beginning, but once you're doing it, it's not that bad. If you've noticed, I pinch my nose before I dive and while I'm going down. What I'm doing is called equalization. I try to blow pressure into my ears so the pressure of the water doesn't damage my ears. In this dive, I didn't do it right and my ears started to hurt, so I had to return to the surface. Two weeks later, we were back at the lake to finish my certification. By now, I was feeling comfortable, and in this dive, I went my deepest yet, 40 feet. That's it. I'm now a level one freediver. Let's see what's next.